Hello out there. This is the world's best health coach, continuing on our testosterone journey. We've been on this journey for a little while. It just started yesterday. We're going to be on it for a while because there's lots of things I want to go over with testosterone that you have to know. If you're a guy over 30, maybe even over 20, it's getting younger and younger all the time, but we're getting more and more testosterone problems because of all the things we face. So today I want to go over all the symptoms of low testosterone. And those are so important to know the symptoms because the diagnosis for testosterone being low, it's more important to, di- to get the diagnosis from the symptoms and not from the blood test. The blood test is important and you need to have that before you start because you want to find out where you're at and where you're going to and when you get there and how much testosterone it takes to get you and and keep you at that optimum level. But the the most important thing for a diagnosis are your symptoms. So I'll look at this list of symptoms. I'm going through this list. I'm like, man, I don't want any of this list. There's different things out there that I don't want part of. But when I look at this list in particular, it's like, whoa, I don't want any of this. Stay away from me. So let's start with loss of sex drive. That's not a good one. Smaller penis, a shrinking penis, locker room shaming penis. 40% of men over 50, almost half the men over 50, have a smaller and shrinking penis. That's not good. Smaller and shrinking testicles. So basically, you can... Have a little peanut shell and you can put your nuts and your penis, both of them, because that's all you need. So all this stuff is coming from low testosterone. Now, these are things that you probably think of with low testosterone. The rest of this list, which is a huge list, is not anything to do with that. So next one is increased body fat. It's harder to lose weight. You gain more and more weight every year. You just can't lose weight like you used to. Decrease bone mass. Easier to break your bones. Less quality sleep. Harder to lose weight. I'm sorry, losing my place here. Less quality sleep. Less deep sleep. Less REM REM sleep, R-E-M sleep. That's the, the dream sleep where you consolidate your memories. And also... If you haven't checked out my new book, it's a manual how to sleep better on Amazon. It's called 30 Days of Better Sleep. It's what you do once a day for 30 days to see what's going to help you improve your sleep the most. You need to check that out. So less quality sleep with low testosterone, less deep sleep, less REM sleep, more tossing and turning during the night, less energy the next day, depression. Let me say this again. Depression. Less assertive indecisive. I can't really tell. Skin sagging, dry skin, crepe skin, itchy skin, getting older looking, inside and out. More inflammation, joint pain, muscle pain from all the inflammation. You know the pains of old age. Like my grandfather used to say, oh, my lumbago is killing me. That's what we're talking about. More inflammation, less testosterone. Less energy, less masculinity. Here's another one you don't want, man boobs. Also known as bitch tits. I didn't make that up, that's just what they call them. Less hair, less hair on your head, less hair on the rest of your body. Worse vision, decreased vision associated with aging. The list goes on, we keep going here. Less overall motivation, less drive to win, less competitive edge, less of that good feeling that comes with winning a fight, with winning a sport, winning a championship, or winning an important business deal or a business win. Less testosterone gives you less risk taking. Less focus, a weaker mindset, less tactical, overall a weaker self. Therefore, if you optimize your testosterone, get it at that 1,000 to 1,200 range, no matter what your age is, don't listen to your doctor. If he tells you, she tells you, it's okay for your age. 
That doesn't mean it's optimized where you function at your best. So if you get it where it's functioning at its best, you're going to have more motivation overall. You're going to have more drive to win. You're going to have that competitive edge. It's going to help you look better, help you age less, help you age slower. Gives you that good feeling that comes with winning a fight, with winning a championship, with winning a sport, with getting that great business win, that great business deal. Gives you more risk-taking, helps sharpen and increase your focus, gives you a stronger mindset, more tactical, your best and strongest self. Basically, you're going to feel better all over. So these are the symptoms of low T. Tomorrow, what am I going over tomorrow? I think it would be tomorrow or Monday. But keep checking because I'm going to put out probably five or ten more of these episodes on on low T. And all we're going to do with how to find a doctor with it, uh, the test that you need, interpreting the test, the different types of ways you can administer testosterone and some of the side effects that can happen and how to deal with those. So we'll go over all those things. But uh, tell everybody what's going on here so they can listen to this too. Hey, all you guys out there, Jim, Gerald, Mark, John, Mike. A lot of guys, good. It's all guys. You guys need this stuff. Pass it on, and I will see you next time. You can always check me out, World's Best Health Coach, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on podcast, and uh, YouTube. Guys, have a great day.